Is there a delay in flight? Faw declared something bad about Starship. Faw vs. SpaceX. Launchpad showdown. Did Starship's fiery test light the fuse for a delay? The Starship program is on a mission to Mars, but a bureaucratic hurdle might be causing a launch delay. SpaceX has ambitious goals for 2024, but the FAO's involvement is raising questions. Did a recent Starship test flight with an explosion trigger a delay, or is there something else at play? This video dives into the details, exploring whether the FAO is ensuring safety or creating needless roadblocks for space exploration. We'll have interviews with experts, launch footage, and everything you need to know about the future of Starship. So buckle up, space fans, hit that subscribe button to join the journey. Let's start the video. Although it may seem simple when we read about SpaceX testing the Starship or launching rockets, each test and launch of a space rocket entails difficult and complex work. The stakes are much larger when the rocket in question is the size of the Starship. Musk and SpaceX have persevered in achieving important milestones in the Starship's development in spite of these obstacles. Though they deserve encouragement and support for their work, some government agencies make matters worse for them by enforcing stringent restrictions and needless requirements rather than making things easier. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FA, is one such organization that is essential in sanctioning these launches. How is SpaceX finding things more difficult and how can the FA's strict regulations and oversight cause a delay in the forthcoming fourth flight of the Starship? For those of you who have been watching the Starship flight testing, you know that getting the FAW launch license has been a major challenge, frequently much more so than the actual launches. The FAW's review procedures caused frustrating delays for SpaceX during the first and second flight testing. Notably, there was a significant delay during Starship SpaceX's maiden integrated flight test. Just to obtain the FAW's launch license, more than nine months passed. You heard correctly nine months spent waiting for a piece of paper. Imagine what could be accomplished in that amount of time, but the SpaceX team was forced to wait for permissions before moving forward. Similar circumstances apply to the second flight test as well. The license for this flight from the Federal Aviation Administration was granted on November 15, 2023, a few time before the launch date of November 18, 2023. Furthermore, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's environmental study came to an end the day before the FAW approved the license. Following the initial Starship flight tests, SpaceX and other space businesses came to the realization that they couldn't continue to comply with the AVAW's cumbersome regulatory procedure. They observed how their projects were being hampered by these regulatory delays. They addressed this by bringing their concerns before the Senate and working together to press for regulatory reforms. The FAW began updating its laws in response introducing new, simplified launch and re-entry guidelines that are intended to speed up and increase the flexibility of the licensing process for space enterprises. In comparison to earlier test flights, the FAO's licensing procedure for the third Starship test flight was noticeably quicker. Shortly before the planned launch date, SpaceX gained FAO authorization. Following the first and second stage explosions during the third Starship mission, looks like the FAO is causing delays once more. Musk and SpaceX had planned for the fourth Starship mission to take place on May 6th. But as the deadline draws near, there's no sign that the FAW has released the required launch license or released a statement explaining the delay. With SpaceX aiming to launch 1,000 Starships a year, the FAW's sluggish licensing procedure becomes a major obstacle. That would still be nearly impossible under the current system, even if SpaceX could expedite the launch license application process to be completed in as little as one month. For this reason, the FAW created a new licensing procedure especially for SpaceX that for a portfolio of launches to be covered by a single license. A single license will be able to cover a portfolio of launches thanks to the new method. This implies that for SpaceX, launching Starship missions might become a far more efficient operation, enabling many launches without requiring different licenses for each mission. The business has been working on the Starship program to make space travel more accessible and eventually facilitate expeditions to Mars, therefore SpaceX's response to this development has been favorable. With the aim of reaching orbit, the program has witnessed a number of test launches. Most recently on its third test flight, the spacecraft successfully entered orbit for the first time, representing a major advancement in the program. The Starship was able to leave the launch pad and ascend into the sky when all 33 of its Raptor engines were turned on for the third test. After this initial phase, the Starship carried on with its mission into space, where it was intended to showcase a variety of technological prowess, 
such as engine restarts and maneuvers in the vacuum of space. In order to return to a designated splashdown location in the Gulf of Mexico, the Super Heavy booster attempted a novel maneuver during this flight, a boost back burn. Unfortunately, the booster had issues during the landing attempt, which resulted in its demise a few meters over the water. Ship 28 accomplished the test's intended trajectory and successfully finished its engine burns in the interim. It then made an attempt to carry out a number of tests in orbit, one of which tested the payload bay door's functionality. At roughly 65 kilometers above Earth, the Starship lost touch with Earth during its re-entry into the atmosphere, bringing the flight to an end. Following the flight, the FAW declared that an inquiry into the accident has begun. After Starship SpaceX's third test flight, the company didn't take long to focus on its next launch. Speaking at the Satellite 2024 conference in Washington, Gwen Shotwell, the president of SpaceX, revealed that the next Starship mission is scheduled to take place in about six weeks. This indicates that the next launch is scheduled for early May. She described the third test flight as extremely successful during her address, highlighting that the mission accomplished its goals exactly as anticipated. Following the third flight, SpaceX made numerous modifications to the Starship's hardware as well as the Stage Zero infrastructure. To make the Starship's design better, the team has made hundreds, if not thousands, of adjustments. These are important activities because they prepare the ground for the impending launch, which many believe will take place in May. Three primary goals are the focus of SpaceX's future Starship mission. The primary goal is to control engine burn and booster landing to improve the vehicle's landing performance. This is a big modification that can affect the launch's flight profile. The other two goals, which are similar to previous flights, are to secure the heat shield tiles and remove roll problems during the Starship's re-entry. It is projected that 2024 will be SpaceX's most prosperous year to date. By the end of 2022, SpaceX has set a record for the most successful launches of any rocket family. The enthusiasm continued, and in 2023 SpaceX shattered its own records by launching the Falcon family of vehicles 96 times, including 5 heavy and 91 Falcon 9 missions. In addition to breaking its own record, SpaceX accomplished a major milestone by launching 100 times in a straight 365-day span. SpaceX set the framework for even more audacious objectives in 2024, as it ended its most prosperous year in 2023. The company wants to launch 148 times in total, which means that a launch cadence of once every 2.5 days is needed. The Falcon 9 rockets will be used for most of these launches. This plan also includes launches of Starships and large Falcon aircraft. SpaceX's current efforts are reflected in this strategy. The FABU's new licensing process has enabled a shortened turnaround time for launches, which could have a substantial influence on SpaceX's capacity to cut turnaround times on its launch pads and enhance total launch frequency. All right, space explorers. We hurtled through the Starship launch delay debate, but the journey isn't over. Let us know in the comments below who you think is right the safety first fall or the ambitious SpaceX. And hey, if you enjoyed this space odyssey, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more out of this world content. Until next time, stay curious and reach for the stars.